here at the site of the Battle of Lake George, which occurred in September of 1755. At that time, both the French and the British wanted to take control of that body of water that we call Lake George today. The French called it Lake du saint Sacrement. In 1755, a force of about 1,500 French soldiers and colonial troops and Native Americans came down this way and tried to get rid of the British that were occupying this region. Now the British sent a force of about 1,500 colonials and also British troops and Native Americans, mainly Mohawks, to try to claim this area. And William Johnson, the commander of the English forces, he was the one that named this Lake George. When the French came in 1755 to get rid of his force on the lake, that resulted in the Battle of Lake George, which occurred in this spot. William Johnson made a barricade of wagons and anything he can get. The French came from that direction. And when the French arrived, they would send forth their regular troops in a frontal assault and the British were able to stop their advance. And that is the result of the Battle of Lake George. William Johnson was victorious and he was able to claim this lake for the British. Now fighting would go on for years after, but this is when the British presence here became permanent. This plaque commemorates the Bloody Morning Scout on the morning of September 8, 1755. A couple hundred men under Colonel Ephraim Williams and King Hendrick, his Mohawk ally, were sent out in this area and they were ambushed by about 1,500 French and, and their Native American allies. Colonel Ephraim Williams was killed and so was King Hendrick, the Mohawk leader that was with him. This is a monument to Colonel Ephraim Williams who was killed on September 8, 1755 at the Battle of Lake George at the Bloody Morning Scout. He was one of the first people killed. His body was buried nearby, but because he was childless and unmarried, he left his fortune to a school, which today is called Williams College in Massachusetts. site of the burial spot of Colonel Ephraim Williams, who was killed on the Bloody Morning Scout. It's by a really busy road, so you probably can hear the traffic. But his body was actually interred here in the beginning, and then they took the body out and buried it elsewhere. The fighting here at the Battle of Lake George was bloody and brutal, and the 300 French casualties that resulted from the battle are buried somewhere in here. This was a, an area called Bloody Pond, and today their bodies remain, and it happens to be a place where a lot of things grow a little thicker. So this is where the bodies of the French soldiers were buried.
This is the monument to Sir William Johnson. William Johnson was the Indian agent, uh, that's what they called him back then, the Indian agent that dealt with Native Americans in the local area. He was especially successful with the Mohawk tribe. So this is the monument to him in a space where he defeated the French at the Battle of Lake George. There are many monuments around Lake George, which uh, people don't really know why they're here. And the reason why this one is here is because these are the remains of the unknown soldiers that died in the morning of the Battle of Lake George. Now this particular monument was put in place because the guys that were, their bodies were taken out of where a highway was being built and they decided to put it in this spot. So these are guys that died in the morning of the Battle of Lake George. uniform of Rogers Rangers. Rogers Rangers were formed by a guy named Major Robert Rogers in the French and Indian War and these guys were scouts basically and they were in charge of gathering intelligence about the French in this area of what is today northern New York. They're very effective, very good at moving through the woods and they were essential in gaining intelligence about the enemy in this area. The whole reason why Fort William Henry was built here was for the British to claim this lake. The British called it Lake George, the French called it Lake du Saint Sacrement. So right here a, titan a titanic battle was fought between two empires, the British and the French. And that's why that fort was built in 1755. Behind me is Fort William Henry, built after the Battle of Lake George in 1755. It was built to provide a permanent presence of the British in this area. That lake would forever be known as Lake George and it would stay in British hands until the end of the war. Thank my boat crew for bringing us here today. Jackson, do me a favor, bring us out of the harbor, please. Got it!